Okay, this tutorial is going to go over how to resize and, if necessary, put a date stamp on the photo for processing. The program that we will be using is called FastStone Image Viewer. It is a free download. All you need to do is Google FastStone Image Viewer Download, and the number one result will take you to the FastStone website where you can then download and install it onto your computer. Once it has been installed, the first step you'll need to do is find the photos that you want to modify. So in this case, I've gone into the drive, into the client folder, into the property, and then the photos, and I've opened the folder that has all the photos that I'm going to be modifying. And I'm going to do the entire batch all at once. There are 81 photos in this selection. You can see here 81 files. So I select one, then I'm going to hit select A to select all of them. You can see they now all have a blue square around them, indicating that they have all been selected. Then I go under Tools, and I'd like to open Batch Convert Rename Dialog. So I open that. All 81 that I had selected, I'm going to say I do want to add all of those. And it will go from the list on the left to the list on the right. Now it shows the input list is 81 files. Next thing I'm going to do is select the Output folder. So to browse here, I'm going to select the Drive, Client Folders, Client Name, Address, Photos. Now within this folder, I'm going to create a new folder with the same date. And we're going to call this Resized Dated. So that will be the folder that all of these, once they're modified, will be moving into. We will click Use Advanced Options, the box, and then the button. First thing we're going to do is resize. So we select that box. It's important that you have resize based on one, slot, one side selected. And for the width, we want exactly 800 pixels. And the reason why we want to resize based on only one side is different cameras will have different proportions. Some do a 4 to 3 ratio, others do a 16 to 9 ratio. But the point is we want it to be no more than 800 pixels wide. So that tab now has a green button indicating that that is one of the changes that will be made. The next thing will be under the Text tab. We're going to select Add Text. Now when we insert a variable, I'm going to, in this case, want the EXIF date time date and time. So the variable is parentheses dollar sign H1. What this means is the date and time that the camera stated that that file was created, if that's imported over, then it's going to use that same information. So where today um, is 8.8, and it's 4.13 p.m. right now, but I took the pictures at 11.45 a.m., this will show the 11.45 a.m. when they were actually took. If there's some need to give it a different name uh, or different date, we can put file date time, date and time. And that would be in parentheses dollar sign D1. That would only be if we needed to, for whatever reason, change the date and time to today um, even if, say, the photos were taken yesterday. But in this case, all of these are done, then we will go and see the changes that have been made. It does show at the bottom of each the date and also the time the picture was taken. And so there you have it. That's how to do it. Thank you.